Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be showing you a kind of sexy and edgy look that's great to go out clubbing or out with your friends. Just a good look when you're going out. Um, this is the complete look and I will show you how I got that look. Let's get right into the video. So I start with my hair first and I start by using the Johnson's No More Tangles Detangling Spray. I just spray that all over my hair to loosen up the tangles. Then I take my hairbrush and brush through my hair very thoroughly making sure that I don't have any tangles in my hair. And this will usually take a really long time for me to do. Once I do that, I start brushing my hair back on the top of my head to get all of my hair back and ready for a ponytail. And then once I do that, I take my hair elastic and put it over my wrist. Then I continue to brush it down to make sure it's flat and then I will put in my ponytail. And to make sure it's tight, I split my hair into two pieces and pull on it. Next, I do my makeup and I start with primer. My primer that I'm using is Revlon Photo Ready Perfecting Primer. I just do a little bit and I use my hands and I rub it all over my face. And then I move on to Tinted Moisturizer. I use Balm Shelter Tinted Moisturizer in the color Lighter Than Light. And I just take a little bit and once again, using my hands, I just put it all over my face. For foundation, I use the Lorac Natural Performance Foundation in the color Porcelain. And same as before, I just squeeze a little bit onto my hand and I just put it on all over my face. Sometimes I use a sponge, but most of the time I just use my hands. It's just, I don't know why I prefer using my hands, it's just easier for me, I guess. Next, I use concealer and I could not tell you what type of concealer it is. I know it's by CoverGirl and I know it's in the color Fair. And I just dab it on my blemishes and I just dab it on my fingers blending it in. And then I use powder. I use the Maybelline Dream Matte Powder in the color Ivory just to set all of my foundation and concealer. Next I move on to blush and I use the CoverGirl Cheekers in the color Classic Pink. I use a lot on my cheeks and I also put a little bit on my chin, nose, and forehead to give my face a little bit more color. Next I use my concealer again and I prime my eyes. I put some concealer underneath my eyes to hide the dark circles. And I also put some on my eyelid and right below my eyebrows. Next, I take an eyebrow pencil, eyebrow and eyeliner pencil, and I cannot tell you what brand it is, it is worn off, but I just line my eyes underneath with it. And then I move on to the Color Institute eyeshadow palette and I use the color Mystique all over my eyelid, which is a light purple color. Next from the palette, I take the color Gorgeous and I put it on the outer corner of my eye. It's a slightly darker shade of purple. And lastly, I use the color Gentle and put that on the inner corner. That is the darkest of the purples. And next I move on to liquid eyeliner. I use the LA Colors liquid eyeliner and I'm not super talented to do liquid eyeliner on camera so I just did it and showed you what it looked like. And then I move on to mascara. I use the Maybelline Great Lash in the color Very Black and I just coat it on my eyelashes.
Next I take that eyebrow and eyeliner pencil again and I use it on my eyebrows and I just put three dots on my eyebrows and I just blend it in with my fingers. I like using my fingers for everything just because I feel like I have more control over what I do. Next I prime my lips with just some classic chapstick and then I use the Licky Licky <laughs> Cream Lipstick in the color Stunning, which is a dark red color. And this is the finished makeup look. And now we are going to move on to the outfit. My outfit that I chose is this one right here. The top is by JLo, the black leggings are by So, and the boots are by Croft and Barrow. And I also sometimes pair this with a jacket if it's cold out, it's by Candies. And I totally forgot to film an outro for this video, so thank you for watching, and be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel. I will talk to you in my next video. Bye!